Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Lexa Tarot and I am a certified Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. So this is the soul content vibe. If you guys are interested in other videos about love and I am starting my new singles edition, so come back next week and check that out. But for now, this is the uh, Soul Tribe Vibe content where this week I'll be focusing on what's going on in general, your overall energy, your current overall energy and the current obstacles that you may be f facing this week. With each deck that's here, depending on which one you choose, I will then pull out more energy and kind of clarify what I'm seeing in front of me. So deck number one is a quartz deck and deck number two is the agate deck. So go down to the description box and click on the, you know, the deck that is pulling, uh, is pulling you in. Okay, guys, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi, guys, and welcome to my channel. And you guys picked uh, quartz, the deck number one, or pile number one. All right, let's take a look here at some of the energies that I've already pulled. I am still going to clarify what the deck um, that's here for you guys. Um, so I see happy, happy, building blocks, the bouquet, and the lady. So I feel here the overall energy, most of you are in a very happy spirit or in a high vibrational mode. And I can um, feel that with this energy right here. Okay. Um, you guys are either good where you're at or you're good with whom you are spending time with or you're, you're, you're feeling the sense of satisfaction. Some of you are also feeling a sense of appreciation and a sense of uh, pure joy. Okay. Others of you are building on this. Others of you um, want or are trying to rebuild or build more of a high vibrational frequency in your air, in your, um, environment. Okay. Some of you are, um, even building on this intuitive, uh, sense or, uh, trying to build your inward focus, like through meditation or trying to kind of tap in, uh, to that energy. And I see here in both these um, cards that there are things coming from above coming down below. So for example, this uh, card here has blocks coming down and this one here has the energy coming down. So I feel that there is this um, divine or a, a sense of, um, how can I say, I wouldn't say divine intervention, but I feel like the universe is kind of giving back to you. Like the universe is giving you the gift of adding more joy to your life, adding more brightness, uh, enlightening you, um, and helping you create a stronger foundation through perhaps inward focus and through your intuition. Um, let's take a look here at the obstacles. You have the search and you also have the vision. So I feel here that with the search, there's some of you that are feeling um, a bit lost and a bit confused, which may be the reason why you are uh, kind of tuning into yourselves a little bit more so that you know exactly what it is that you want to build and create and um, build more of in your life. I see here that you guys, some of you may already have a vision, okay, because I see here the building blocks looking here. Uh, to my left, but I see that some of you may already have a vision of what it is that you want and you want to manifest. Others of you um, are having difficulty seeing that vision or getting that insight or tapping into your intuitive self. Okay. And so that is the reason why it is a block for you guys. All right. So let's take a look here and add more uh, information. So let's clarify the overall energy and the obstacles here. Okay. All right. So I see that some of you here, you guys are in working mode, trying to really concentrate and put all your energy in a task. Okay. Some of you, like I said, you guys are getting the hermit, the hermit, um, energy. And this is the energy of kind of a contemplation, but contemplation based on past experiences that have given you guys the wisdom, the intuition. Okay. So I see that some of you are working towards and solidifying or trying to work and concentrate on, 
uh, tapping into your intuition and the wisdom that you have been able to acquire in the past. Okay, you're kind of in this elevation okay of um consciousness or trying to elevate your consciousness so that you're able to make certain decisions so you're able to see i feel to see things a little bit clearer and to provide more foundation to whatever it is that you guys are planning to manifest or wanting to manifest here okay okay And you guys have the emperor. So here is a person who wants to take charge, okay? You guys want to take charge with the wisdom that you tap into here and the hard work and dedication of this reflection, of this going inward, of trying to clear out the confusion with the wisdom. You're trying to then take all of these elements and create a more of a leader, authority, pushing back your emotions and trying to think clearly and trying to take charge okay and think logically on what it is that you want to do and how you're going to accomplish it by ensuring that those building blocks are there for you in order to continue to build forward okay guys that's the message that i'm getting here for you guys and i'll see you again next week Bye bye hi guys and welcome you guys are the agate group thank you so much for stopping by and let's take a look here at your overall energy so your overall energy here is peace followed by time to go the child and the garden so i feel the overall energy here is that some of you guys are letting go of things that no longer serve you a lot of you are um, in this peace, peace uh, energy, okay, this energy of new beginning, of either learning, of having the sense of newness, of having the sense of beginning, beginning a peaceful journey, looking at life or the future with a more positive outlook. I feel that in order to do that, you guys have noticed or have come uh, to, you know, to notice or to to this awareness that in order to do that, you need to either walk to the path that's more enlightening and let go of the things that no longer serve you that in order to make this transition from new beginning and learning and peace and go into the future that you need to let go of things that no longer serve you okay and that you need to grow or that you have grown enough in order to detach from those energies from the past let's take a look here at your obstacles so you have the goddess of creation self-worth uh trapped and invisible so i feel here that most of you you guys may look like you are resting on the outside but i feel in the inside you guys have a lot of the your, the wheels are churning okay you guys are thinking a lot um so on the outside you may seem like you you just have low energy and you're kind of chilling but in the inside you have a lot of issues that you are kind of uh thinking over and over and these issues are in a way trapping you that's why you see this little uh bird here trapped in a gold cage so you yourself are trapping your mind and not allowing yourself to um to really move forward in some of the things that you want so there is a sense of peace that you are trying to seek but it's very difficult when you when you have a lot of these um overthinking energies happening here and i feel that the reason why you guys uh, ended up getting this invisible card is because you can't see the things that are trapping you because those are the things that are in your mind you guys also may have a a, a, a bit of a blockage or you're kind of working on or having a little bit of an obstacle with your self-worth feeling that you deserve uh happiness that you deserve peace okay some of you may be feeling a little guilty because you feel that you that this is what you want to uh walk towards or um kind of head towards and there's a feeling inside of you that's like well you know kind of guilty feeling guilty okay or maybe low self-esteem or low or lack of confidence in um in yourselves okay so these are the obstacles that i'm seeing here let's take a look at to see what other energies come up for you guys what's going on in general for this pile what are some more enlightening messages that they need to hear okay let's take a look here 
okay so some of you like i said busyness okay there may be this busyness between or this pull okay busyness with number one multiple priorities that you guys are trying to handle all at the same time but also the two of pentacles i always get this feeling of energy of being pulled in two directions it's like mind and the heart okay so there is this pulling energy that's pulling you in two directions here Okay, you guys have the King of Wands. The Kings of Wands, the King of Wands is that of movement energy, okay? So it does really give me the same feeling here as the time to go card. You guys are ready to move things forward, okay? And some of you may be busy trying to move things forward with passion, with confidence, and with motivation. But remember, here your self-worth, there may be a little bit of a problem with your self-confidence. So try to build that up so that you go into whatever project or whatever creative um aspirations that you have for yourself that you go in there or you go in head in that direction with the optimal amount of motivation passion and inspiration okay and three of wands i feel that you guys are also waiting for the right opportunity the three of wands is saying you guys are taking the time and you're waiting and in this waiting period you're mapping out where it is that you want to go and some of you are even saying to yourself you're just waiting for the right opportunity to jump in okay to jump in take charge and move forward with whatever plans desires that you may have in mind guys this is these are the um, messages and the energies that i'm picking up for you in this pile i hope that you join me again next week thank you so much and i'll see you soon Bye bye